5.55 in the morning and we are going down to San Diego to get in Sundance. Another round of dialysis treatment. This is going to be, I believe, her eighth treatment. I got Sundance about five and a half years ago from an older couple who had gotten her as a puppy and couldn't handle her because she was just too much energy. Ever. We go camping a lot, we go on lots of road trips, go to the beach, and I mean, she keeps me active. She has been there through some hard times for me and just kind of always been my best friend. Well, I had taken her to the vet, she had an eye infection, um, her and Little Bit both. The doctor looked at her, prescribed her some eye drops, and sent her on her way. A few days later, she um, started to lose interest in her food and um, was throwing up a little bit. We had to go to the emergency room. They did an ultrasound on her and the doctor came back and said that her kidneys were in really bad shape. Then they got her blood work back and the first thing that they asked was if she had gotten into any antifreeze. And after about four days of her being hooked up to fluids and not getting any better, I found a different option and found a a kidney specialist in San Diego, Dr. Cowgill. He basically confirmed um, through looking at her kidneys that it was most likely antifreeze that she ingested based on a kind of like halo shape on her uh, kidneys. I had no clue where she could have gotten antifreeze from. Um, she's always by my side. And Uh, so I'm uh, Larry Cowgill, uh, professor at the University of California, Davis, and uh, director of the University of California Veterinary Medical Center in San Diego, which is a, an outreach uh, clinical program from the, uh, the veterinary program at Davis here in, uh, in Southern California to provide uh, services that aren't generally available in, uh, in these communities. She's, she's got chronic disease that doesn't appear at the moment that it's repairing. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, our initial thought that she might have an acute component on this chronic disease doesn't appear to be uh, the case, that this is in-stage disease that is not going to repair, and so her, her management would include lifelong dialysis if at, at this degree of kidney dysfunction if if she's not going to tolerate getting off the dialysis. And, and, and it would appear that her numbers would suggest she's not going to get off. Uh, her creatinine values uh, before the dialysis sessions are 12, 13, up in that range. That's, mm -hmm. that's essentially no kidney function. Yeah. She dialyzes really well. Uh, we get all those numbers down to normal or below normal uh, by the end of the session. And, and I think that's the reason she looks she looks as bright as she looks when you're out on your walks and in the yeah. park, and she looks really bright here. As soon as we stop dialysis, then everything starts to go back up again. I think even going from three times a week to two times a week dialysis, we generally detect miserable changes in quality of life, mm -hmm. and miserable changes in uh, in the um, in the numbers and the ability to manage the patient just by taking one day taking away. one day away, and uh, and she hasn't demonstrated that yet. But twice a week is really kind of the bare bones minimum amount of dialysis that that you you could provide to an animal. As I've suggested, don't have your hopes up yeah. <laughs> that yeah. she's going to get on that machine. Because I do, but I have to have my hopes yeah. up. Like it's Chronic dialysis is, is an issue that we've never really entertained for veterinary medicine because of the cost. We never really felt that that was going to be something that was viable. Mm -hmm. Yet more and more clients 
want to extend the dialysis for variable periods of time. I think that there are a lot of animals that could be dialyzed if the economics were better. And the economics, I think, would be better if we could provide in-home dialysis rather than in-center dialysis. She's got a lot more energy and is doing way better than she was doing, but unfortunately she will need the dialysis for the rest of her life now. And that's a very expensive thing <laughs> to continue doing. Um, and I don't know how long I'll be able to continue to do it for her. Sunny, you want to go to the beach? I think that's a yes. If you take the money out of it and it's just, okay, she needs dialysis to survive, then that's fine, okay. Well, she needs dialysis to survive. I have no problem with that. I'll, I have no problem feeding her through a tube if that's what she needs. The vet didn't think she would eat on her own and she's eating on her own mostly. She's showing a lot of improvement. Knowing how she is after the dialysis, I can't take that away from her, you know? I mean, it gives her life. It makes her sun dance.